morning guys welcome back to Shannon Gibson art and designs and today I really want to play with my favorite metallics again so we're going to be doing a straight pour and from there with me anything else can happen all right guys so what I'm going to do here and I'm going to do it a little bit slower um, the last video I kind of sped it up really fast even though I tell you guys what the colors are because I layer my cup not really different than a lot of other artists, but um, normally for a straight cup or a flip cup, you usually just layer your paints. A lot of times I split my um, cup in half. So kind of like what people would call a split cup. So I'm going to do that right now and I'm just gonna put in some gold. to use silver down as my base and let's just make a big old base here okay and I'll add more as needed okay I love these Dixie cups so ring force straight force when you want to have more and it that straight force I'm not gonna turn the cup I'm not gonna do anything I say that I'm just going to start slow, work my way up, slow, you see, you see how by changing the levels of how high you pour what happens on the canvas, see how that comes out and then how it starts making those lines, see how it starts to change when I raise the cup. Oh, those droplets just made some really cute. So I don't want any special funky design. I'm just holding the cup straight as I can. And then I'm going to catch it. So, wow. Tons of air bubbles. Tons. And I, that, you definitely will get that too from pouring like that. When you pour high and low, and all you're doing is disturbing the paint. And you're letting air pressure move around. So it's quite normal. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. I see some gold in the center. I don't see any results. I see my bronze, my black, and the base that I just put down. We'll see what happens when it stretches. Tiny bit of little bronze here. And I'm going to tell you why I'm doing just this in this corner. For one, I'm emptying out the cup. That's one reason. And the other one is, even if you plan on tilting your entire um, composition, your painting, off and not leaving any negative space, when you have layers of paint underneath your other paint, even if you don't see it, because there's certain ways that when you tilt the canvas like I did in my um, last open cup that pulling of tilting the corner back really quick really stretches out stuff and then when it does that it helps the color underneath seep in so even though i know i'm covering the canvas for the most part and tilting off what i have this paint will go over that and whatever is going to happen or cells or lacing that's going to come through it's going to happen here with my bronze now again it, it comes out a lot different when um, you do certain techniques but with, I just call it like you know when you tilt it really quickly in a corner and you have any type of cell activator it's definitely um, gonna help create some lacing and, and probably bring them some really cool cells Okay, 
and I am going to go, I'm going to rock this for a second. And I'm going to go over this corner really quick, really quick, just like that, just like that. I almost missed a, gosh, that's gorgeous, guys. Check it out. I want to give it a quick torch again. Silver is filling me with air bubbles. And, okay, went over the corner really quick. Do you see this? Look at that for me. This is where I want to go, right down in this corner. I want to stretch out all that yummy stuff that you see going on. You see what I'm talking about when you do that technique with my ratios of pouring medium and those paints. This should be illegal. It is that amazing. I am just beside myself at the lacing in this. I've gotten it before and I think now I'm pretty confident on how to get it consistently now. I knew that my silver was a huge factor. I knew that my ratio was was right. But this whole flipping um, definitely, I mean, they started as a tiny little patch in the corner, like, I mean, tiny, and it has now taken over. Guys, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. Let's just go in for the close-up. Well, guys, um, I am so happy. Like, this is crazy amazing. Like, unbelievable. Unbelievable.